Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Missile Command for the Atari 2600. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, your number one source for video game walkthroughs. And guess who it is? It's Scorch A2! Mmm, Slorch! Slorch. Slorch. Scorch A2 is here to assist me on defending, uh, you know, the planet of uh, Zardon. Scorch. Would you rather be a Krytolian or a Zardonian? I don't know, man. What do the women look like? <laughs> what do the Zardonian women look like? Uh, nothing yeah. good. I think they're pink with, like, octopus arms, and and the Krytolians have, like, four heads and, like, uh, I don't know, like, f like ten fingers on a, an arm. They're crazy. Mm -hmm. The Krytolians yeah. are evil, so you might fit in more being a Krytolian from Krytol. Maybe. <laughs> you might... You you want to bomb uh you're bombing Zardon man you're bombing Zardon so anyway Maybe that's the reason they're evil is because their women are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Pro this is probably what started this whole goddamn war, and uh you know in <laughs> traditional Atari fashion we get to pick uh so many multiple games here you know two one three one four one and they're all set up differently uh which makes uh like your uh your object move slower on the screen or like missiles come down faster or different types of missiles. So let's just pick a random one. We'll go with 11, and we'll start this game here. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, they seem to be moving really fast, and I don't like this, Scorch. Scorch, help me! Oh, no, wait. He's not going to help me because he's a fucking asshole Krytolian. God. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to direct your missile somewhere else so I can land on that pretty house of yours. My base! All right, <laughs> Slorch, the evil Krytolian named Slorch, just destroyed one of my cities. It all makes sense now. Your alter ego, Slorch, the Krytolian from Krytol. <laughs> the proper way to misspell a misspelled name. I just lost all my places except for one already. God damn it. Oh, you only it. have one target to worry about. Forget about that. Oh. You really have to uh, pinpoint and be accurate with your missiles. I don't like uh, game 11-1. That was the... that was kind of like the way it was with Atari, though, is it was really hard to... when you had to fire at something because everything was on a straight line and it was not, like, total 360-degree control. Yeah. It was really easy to miss. <laughs> and use that, uh... the analog, uh... joystick. Remember that with just a little one button that you would tap? Yeah. I remember there was a... There was a, it was probably not, not related to this really, but we had to do with that little one button joystick because there was, I didn't really have an Atari when I was a kid, so I had to go over to some friends' houses and uh, one of the, one of my mom's friends had a son who was like significantly older than me and he had this game for Atari that was like G.I. Joe, but I don't know what it is or what the name was or something, but it had used that little one button joystick and I was like, what the hell is that? I want to play it again. <laughs> hey, I'm doing good. All my shit's destroyed. Wow, some of these are hard. Some of those games get a lot harder when there's more targets for you to have to protect. Yeah, I was Once doing they start good. destroying them, then you're like, okay, now I have to worry about this one. I was doing good on, uh, I think it was 17. Yeah, I missed it. I've... It's so annoying. You have to go all the way around through the two-player selections. Yeah, I was doing pretty well on uh, number 17. Yeah. Let's, let's do 17, because this is the only one where I can go like around without dying completely <laughs> the, the the cursor is like really slow and so are the missiles doop, doop, doop. look at that now I'm g oh yeah take that nobody can defeat the evil Krytolian technology Slorch, your Krytolian technology cannot withstand my Zardanian defensive <laughs> capabilities you're going down man <clears throat> We're gonna keep our ugly alien women. Got that, Buster? I've just got a lot of followers that I'm paying to do all my dirty work. I haven't even made it onto the screen yet. I know, Slorch is like sitting way back up in space in his, uh, his big old Krytolian mother spaceship. The mothership. The Slorch ship. I have ship. a throne. I have a throne that's made out of human bodies. <laughs> Bodies. They, they're not. They're not alive or anything like that. I'm not like gross or anything. But... What's so special about the Krytolian women, huh? I think it's what's not special about them. 
Too many heads, man. Too many heads. Our Zardonian women may have, like, two assholes and 50 eyes, but hey, man. You can do a lot with that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've, I've grown tired of having to find other means to meet my needs, if you know what I mean. That would make anyone go crazy and want to destroy everything on a planet. Don't you know? <clears throat> Hell's bells, there you go. Now I'm doing good. I bet a lot of people like Game 17. You know, on the cover of this game, it says, uh... I can't remember the exact number, but it was like, uh, 30-some games in one. And it's not really 30-whatever games, 34 or whatever. It's, uh... It's just this one game. The 34 different settings? Yeah, it's <laughs> like 34 different settings. 34 games in one! You lying box bastard. You bastard lying box. That's like uh, Action 52, where they're like, 52 games that are worth so much money, but they're all shitty. It's just 52 versions of crap. Pretty much. Hoo-ah! Gotcha. Now I'm racking up the points. Now I'm racking up the points. Yeah. Rightful assholes. I'm gonna have to Shit. respectfully request that you stop destroying my missiles. I have okay. to, man. I'm supposed to. That's a shame, though, that those uh, those boxes would always lie, especially back uh, back in the '80s. Kids were stupid. We didn't have the internet. We don't know what's going on. If the box tells us something, that's like the Bible, you know? Yeah. The Bible of video games. The holy box. I don't, I don't box. know, man. Is it easier for kids now, like nowadays with the internet, to like look shit up and stuff? Because I remember it was always hard to convince my parents that something was worth buying. Yeah, Super Nintendo. Because I didn't like have any. I didn't have any information aside from like a few magazines that I got to show them. Probably, definitely easier with all this information. You're like, eh, hey, come on, old man, buy me this game, Missile Command. It has, it has 34 games. 34 games? All for the price of one? Uh, well, how do they survive? <laughs> and then you bring it home, and what the hell is this? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've ever had many, I've had a few, but I don't know if I've had a whole lot of experiences where I get a game and it's like, oh, this is going to be awesome, and then it's like, oh, no. <laughs> Hookah! I die. But I've since learned never to buy a game based on what's on the front or the back. Yeah, I don't think uh, nowadays, you know, with PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, and the Xbox 360, that you're going to go into a GameStop and be uh, looking at the box and be like, oh... This looks cool, guy with a gun, or right, I'm gonna buy this. It looks cool. <laughs> now, I think you're gonna do a little more research now. <clears throat> guy with a gun and he's standing on a rocket skateboard over a town where there's people like, Save me! <laughs> How can I lose? Oh, well. But now I'm doing good. Yeah, I've, I actually, I did, I did do that a couple of times with PC games back in the day, though. I would, like, look on the back, like, you know, I'd go stay with my aunt or something like that, and she'd take me to, like, Fred Meyer or something, and I'd be like, can I get a game? And she'd be like, all right. So I'd go look through the crap there, and it's, of course, like, before the internet, so you don't know what you're going to get. So you have to, like, look at the box and be like, well, I'm getting something for free, so i got to pick something. And you have to, like, hope that you don't get, like, the shitty, like, the chocolate with the nuts filled in, nuts inside or whatever, you know, the nasty candy in the box. <laughs> I've, I've stumbled on a few games that have actually been pretty good. Most people haven't heard of because of that. But back in the day, you know, renting video games was also a bigger thing. So before... Yeah. Damn it. Ugh, before you would buy a game, you'd always rent it a couple times. Just to see if it was good. Yeah, I remember the first time my parents told me that they found a video store in our area that rented video games, and we're like, what the hell? I'm like, this is amazing. I think I was like six or seven or something like that. So then in for like, I don't know, it was like weeks at a time, I'd always be like, take me to rent a game, come on. They're like, no, you just got one. Oh, come on. And that same that same location is still there, but it's not a video store anymore. It's a smoke shop. <laughs> smoke shop. It's a smoke shop. Nice. Way to throw my childhood back in my face. 
There's no need to rent video games anymore. Do people rent video games as much as they used to? I mean, there, there's newer, different types of ways to uh, rent video games, right? Yeah. Gamefly and that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's better for the console because, like, PC games are too easy to, you know, get to a, a point where once you have the disc, you don't really need it anymore. So, like, renting a game is basically the same as buying it. So, it's always really hard for people that play PC games to get a, a game checked out unless they use a demo. And most of the times, the demos are shitty. <laughs> oh, Slorch! You Krytolian bastard! My house! No! <laughs> oh! It's Sorry, not over Dave, yet, Slorch. I got Slorch. the dildo collection. I didn't, I didn't, uh, you should have hit it better. Ah, oh, my thumb's starting to hurt. <laughs> Don't you hate that when your thumb starts to hurt? Play a game for so long and your thumb hurts. Oh. You've won this round, Slorch, but I'll be back. And in greater numbers. You bastard. Actually, no, you're only going to have the one missile thing for, uh, ever. Slorch. The leader of the Krytolian Bastards has defeated me and my Zardonian Empire. But for now, we shall return and meet again, Slorch. Oh, yes. Your empire only consisted of seven or what, six buildings? Uh, yes, six buildings. Uh, you should probably invest in more buildings and more anti-air guns, but mm. I'm not going to tell you how to lead your yeah. realm or anything. Yeah, I think I, yeah, that, I gotta work on this army. You Zardonian <laughs> morons! All right, whatever, <laughs> you know, screw it, I'm out of here. <laughs> I forget the Zardonians. They're dumbasses. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. And Scorch A2, thanks for being here. Not a problem. I am Dave the Usher for the Gamer Play, and we'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Say goodbye, Scorch. Bah!